Lord and me, but mostly me. I'm gonna change the world forever. But what if the chance to change the world forever comes when you're knee deep in a catering gig? That's right, I got me a callback for the biggest hit on Broadway, Book of Mormon, and I'm serving canapes and cocktails. So this week catering is extra rough because in my mind, I'm singing on Broadway and I wanna be at home practicing those songs and that script. But I'm ready. I mean, I haven't got any callbacks for all these regional shows, but this is the Broadway, the big deal. I'm trying not to make a bigger deal of it than it is. It's just a callback. I went into the big open call, the chorus call, you know, a lot of people say it's a waste of time. And a few weeks later, they want me to come in and read sides. Oh, there's something incredible. I wanna be the Mormon who changed all of mankind. She said I sounded great, she laughed at the joke, and then she asked about my dance history, and I told her truthfully I've been taking a lot of class. Unfortunately, all the guys in that show tap dance. Um, I told her I've been taking tap for about a year, when in truth, I own the shoes. So now, in addition to my jazz classes, I'm taking tap twice a week, hoping that they'll call me in again and I don't completely embarrass myself. Catering hasn't been cutting the mustard, and it's a little bit too much like waiting tables, so I'm eagerly waiting my first temp assignment. It seems to work a lot like catering in that each week you give them your availability, whatever days you're not auditioning, and they give you work. Except, instead of cleaning up after people and serving them food and wine, I sit at a desk and use my computer skills. This job supposedly needed someone with incredible Excel spreadsheet skills. So I spent the whole night before brushing up on a program I haven't used since college and got there and found out that I was just proofreading some sheet for doubles all day. I did find an actor task for when I'm sitting at these computers. I found an online way to submit to all these television shows and movies to do extra work. Maybe that'll be fun, a change at least. Sometimes when you want things to change in a big way, you can start with a uh, small change. Be the change you want to see or some crap like that. My first temp job ended a little bit early as I finished three days of work in one. And it turns out they didn't need someone with that many Excel skills. But I got another assignment, working at a more creative company, House Closure, a publishing house, right across Broadway in Times Square. So while I'm not working in the bright theater lights, I'm at least working adjacent to them. It's actually pretty much a dream job. I come in, I the fish, and then I sit and look at Facebook and online articles for the next eight hours, occasionally answering the phones or dropping off a FedEx package. And it turns out I'm good at it. In fact, this company wants to keep me. It's become an open-ended assignment. Why pay someone a good wage and benefits when you can get a temp to do the job happily? But what happens when you do get a call back? Can the temp get a temp? The temp for the temp. That's pretty sweet setup. Yep, Thursday you're feeling low and sad thinking, is this all there is? When half an hour before quitting time, you not only get a call from your agent with a call back for surf flight summer season, but your husband calls you and lets you know that he's got great tickets for opening night to JC Superstar on Broadway, as well as tickets to the party afterwards. Seeing the curtain go up on a Broadway show is always amazing, but when it's the first time on a new production, it's even better. From the paparazzi outside who wish they were probably covering a movie opening, to the after party, where you get to hobnob with the creatives, the actors whose parts you wish you had, and you get to meet the casting directors who maybe are sitting there wondering, why are you at this party? Why do I know his face? Is it from an audition? While it was a lot of fun, it was an early night because I had to get to my callback the next day. I know my ambition and my motivation has to come from within, but sometimes it's great when the universe tells you that maybe you are doing something right. Not to be full of yourself, but not to be empty of yourself either. He will always answer you. Just believe in him and have no fear. Oh, I believe